Good day, fellas. I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill. And today we are going to play with Almighty 907. Clan Wars River Tank. And since Clan Wars uh, are coming to an end, I suppose to say Clan Wars campaign is coming to an end, probably a lot of you are curious how this tank performs and how this tank looks like. So let's go into the game. Meanwhile, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, remember merch is still going for 8 days, so if you want to pick up something, you have a chance to do so, after that it will be closed. You can find the merch in the description down below. Uh, meanwhile, fellas, 907 is rated as an epic tank, and I think it is epic vehicle. Um, community, looks like community likes the tank as well, although uh, fun-wise it doesn't look like it's the most fun tank to play with and we are community ratings goes, keep, the, keep this in mind that you can vote yourself, log in, uh, log in via our gaming API and we have 15,000 accounts and 136,000 votes already, so feel free to say what do you think about one or another vehicle Oh, Bobject version 5 Oh, naughty super tester. I <laughs> nice inscription. Look at this. Okay, I see. I see. Sneak peek, fellas, to object, um, to object two six eight version five. Okay, is it is it a sneak peek? We do not have this tank in the game, do we? Now I started thinking about it. Anyways, what we are going to do? We are making a hardcore pressure here and our goal is to be the living crap out of the everyone who is sitting in this area. I'm not going to stop, I am going to make as much pressure as I physically and possibly can because I have no doubts whatsoever that they have some uh, pesky light tanks. And you know what we do for a pesky light tanks? We are saying hello and we are going for um, some, you know, we are going for some fun if you know what I mean. This is... The gameplay, whenever uh, um, you are playing with 907, at least in my opinion, you are you are being aggressive with this tank, right? You are getting the position quickly and you are bursting the living crap out of everyone who is making a mistake. At least this is, this is how I do the things and this is how I play with this tank. Um, all in all, where the gun handling goes of this vehicle, it's far away from being ideal and it's far away from being epic. But that's, that's okay and that's to be expected. Um, what else? The armor is actually extremely trollish from this tank in the most positive way, right? What trollish armor means that it is very, very hard to penetrate this vehicle and uh, um, this tank will give you bounces out of nowhere. Whenever, whenever it will feel like someone will penetrate you, in reality you will just simply slap them and you will forget their name. Which is, which is very, very good in my opinion, right? That's definitely fine. Meanwhile, how do we want to get involved into this game? Looks like our team is making a bit of pressure, so you know what, we are going to join them. So far, the game is eh, definitely not ideal. We got ourselves one point for the... Ooh, I'm not going here. I do not really think it's worth it. Centurion action shit died. So you know what? I do not really want to make that much pressure. I changed my mind. There is no need for us to make pressure on 114 SP, who is playing cooldown over there, and overall they have a bloody four tank destroyers waiting around the corner. So if we are going to peek, it is going to be kind of disgusting and not so good. So let's try not to do so. Let's be a bit smarter and let's wait until any will mess it up how about that oh no this is not this is not a super tester tank I think this version 5 is the tank from uh, um, from assembly store or maybe from the black market or something like this I think I had a bit of the mix-up in my head if I can say so but that's okay it happens once in a while not a big deal meanwhile You'll see even going through the middle of the field, I think all we can do for this gentleman, we can send him to the garage. Beautiful, the guy is dead, nice, nice, nice. How about the heavy line? I think our heavy line is definitely getting slaughtered there. Do I want to go for a base defense? Do I want to go for a base defense? This is the question. I think I do. <clears throat> I think the best play for us in this situation is just to simply go and defend the base, I would say. 
I think this is the finest one and this is the best play which we can make at the moment. Um, do I want to be aggressive? This is the other question. Maybe I could actually even go like this and try to beat the living crap out of them. Or alternatively, I can have a bit of the safer defense parameter with it. Hmm. What is the right choice? You know what? I have a feeling that they do not really have that many hit points. So what we are doing, we are loading gold and we are going into the heavy line. And we actually can do that properly. I would say we can do that properly. <coughs> first things first, we are taking upper side over there. And the first victim is going to be this T22 medium. We are superior towards the T22 medium. We are significantly better than this tank is. Um, so he should start regretting his life choices. Speaking about regretting choices, look at this tier 8. Hello, sir. How are you doing this fine day? Enjoying yourself? Oh, that's great. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, the tier 8 found the 907. Not much what he can change about this. As you can see, whenever you are bursting the living crap out of the enemies, the tank feels definitely strong and the tank feels real good, right? Whenever you start bursting enemies, whew, this is a solid banana out of 10. Now with armor, let's see how our armor will work in this way. Okay. I called it, fellas. I definitely called it. Good, beautiful shot. Ergashem is sitting here around the corner. I do not really care about this Ergashem, but I should have. Oi, 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 that mother trucker penetrated me. This is, this is a bit more complicated at the moment, but we are fine. I'm trying to be the living crap out of this concept and luckily we did that. Nice, excellent. How about this Conqueror? Conqueror understood that he is sitting in the deep Kaku hole and unfortunately he cannot change absolutely anything about this. Good. So far, fellas, we are doing extremely good job over there and we are feeling happy with our performance. Now, what is the next step for us? I have a feeling that enemy forces will start making pressure like this, right? At least this is the feeling which I have. Can we do something about this? To be completely honest with you, I am pretty sure that we can. I want to take this position and from this position right there, we should be able to say hello for GSOR or for 114 SP2. So far, fellas, I mean, overall as a tank goes, this tank is like 140. But it has significantly more trollish armor, right? So you tell me, is it is it a good tank or not so much? And another highlight that the tank can be a bit annoying as well, where the accuracy goes of this tank. At least in my opinion, right? It can troll you quite a bit. Meanwhile, whenever you found someone making silly goose mistake like this gentleman does, this is pretty much a game over for him, right? There is absolutely nothing but he can change about this. How about this Leo one? I'm going for a blind shot. Um, it's 50-50. I could have hit the shot. Let's go for another one just like so. That's okay. This is all right, fellas. Meanwhile, Gusor is saying hi. And unfortunate for Gusor, he isn't penetrating his shot. Unfortunate, what can I say? This is the 907. You know, you are going to get those bounces out of nowhere and it will feel real good for you whenever in reality you should have been penetrated, but you are just... Your armor just simply works, right? Um... I would not call this armor the most reliable one, to be completely honest with you. I would never ever say that, oh my bananas, but the armor aside from this tank, it's wow, something epic. It's, it's just not the case, fellas. Good, beautiful game, fellas. Beautiful, 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 beautiful game. Um... We did everything properly. I think we were aggressive. I think uh, we slapped the living crap out of tier 8s. And I think we can be happy with our performance. Right? So first game is definitely uh, not a burnet pancake. Which is very much appreciated. And this is very, very good. So what do we have, fellas? What do we have? We have 5.6 thousand damage. Whoop. 
first of all let's say thank you for this beautiful magnificent mother tracker we have 5.6 thousand damage we have uh, um 1.4 thousand assisting damage uh two kill uh second class uh high caliber brother in arms good overall game we should be first by experience and first by the damage yes we are and we got 43 thousand profits although we would lose 7 thousand credits if not completion of the mission still nevertheless that's fine let's keep it up okay round number two okay sand river standard battle that sounds pretty damn awesome and that sounds pretty damn good so what do we want to do in this situation um I am not a big fan to play here and to get stuck, especially whenever there is Artas in the game. So what I will try to do, I will try to play somewhere around this area and hopefully we will get a bit more use in this way. This is what I am thinking, okay? So the first things first, um, I think we are going to have a safe position somewhere over there at first, right? We will try to spot for our trash burns and whatnot, and hopefully the things will uh, will go pretty well for us. I do not want to get involved to the maximum. I just do not really think it is. Oh, yopterarai. Fake pink unicorn just slapped the living crap out of the ABR, and the guy is pissing his pants. Ka -ka 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 this is how it looks like okay not bad not bad beautiful okay so at the moment we do not really need to get involved here maybe we could actually looking how many we have plenty of the forces here it doesn't look like enemies have anyone in the d7 so we can make a bit of pressure and we will i have a feeling that enemies are playing in the bottom so let's quickly check it out can we eliminate anyone who is playing over there and um, if they do not have anyone we are going to take this position or maybe we will take the middle depending on the situation okay we found 113 not a big deal good 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 my goal is to track him oh good 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 very very good extremely good okay that's awesome so what do we have we have 113 bo who thinks that he can play aggressively here but little did he knew this is going to be quite a journey and quite a complicated situation 50b is going in and we are eliminating him excellent what do we want to do we want to keep making pressure here this buzzer realized that um, unfortunately for him he needs to run for his life if he wants to survive this and he is running like there is no tomorrow fellas you can see his um, thinking process he is like and he will uh, never be seen again okay that makes sense so far so good everything is fine everything is fine i like how the things are looking like here what is the second thing what we could do mm, i am considering the middle play fellas this is what i am considering what middle play would give for us i have a feeling oh what middle play look at this ass okay at the moment we are just bursting this gentleman there is nothing what he can change about this and there is nothing what he can do good the guy is out excellent and now we are going into the middle enemy team he has no team whatsoever right that being said whenever you see um the situation like this that enemy team simply refuses to play the game or enemy team is melting we need to find a way how we can get uh, um more involved and how we can get a bit more aggressive here and we will be fine we will find the ways how to do that i have no doubts whatsoever so the first things first i would love to say hello for this is7 i'm aiming for a tracks unfortunately i did not i haven't done any damage whatsoever which is kind of sad thing but what can you do and now we should be able to track him if i will aim for a tracks right it's okay i'm willing to trade to be completely honest with you i do not really mind luckily e4 doesn't look for us that's fine we are slapping this is7 we should be able to eliminate him from the game but i'm looking for uh damage instead of um securing the kill i know skill you are a damage um victim 
I get it. I get it, fellas. I get it. How dear I. And by the way, this game, I believe I do not need to tell you that it is a game over already and there is absolutely nothing what enemies can do in this type of situation. It is just simply game over, you know? Cry every time. This is how it's called. Ooh, okay, there is 140. 140 has the most meat in this game, so I think this is a no-brainer that we are going to make as much pressure as we physically and possibly can towards that 140, right? At least uh, this is my thinking process. This game wasn't great. This game wasn't uh, amazing. Oh, yo, papa, 140 with a 400 hit points left. I mean, fellas, uh, World of Tanks can be like this, and sometimes your team can be um, tenfold uh, to the enemy team, right? And sometimes this is as good as a result as you are going to get. Absolutely madness what happened. This game was pure slaughterhouse, literally. Enemy team was um, playing the cosplay of the punching bag. This is how it felt, fellas. This is how it felt. It wasn't challenging. It was run for a damage and try to get as much use as you physically and possibly can. This is how this game felt. Um, but that's okay. Sometimes it happens and uh, that's all we can get. Meanwhile, 3.1 thousand damage, uh, 600 assisting damage. Definitely not ideal as a game, but I'm fine. Second by experience. Fifth by the damage that definitely could have been better and 8,000 profits. That's okay. Let's keep it up. Okay, 907 on the west field. I do not like that. I do not really have the gun depression here. This is not the map which I would love to play with a tank without gun depression, but we will try to do our best. So our goal is we are going to go somewhere in the middle and we will try to punish their sniper schnitzels. I'm not a big fan of of flanking like this and the main reason why so because usually whenever I do that my score is to the lower part right so instead of instead of making pressure like this we will try to fight where the most hit points um, are located and this is in the heavy line right so this is the thing so what is the goal? What is the hope? What is the dream? First things first, we are going to take the position somewhere over there. And I want to see someone sitting in this area. Because usually there is at least one gentleman who is uh, who is enjoying his journey while trying to snipe here. Right? So let's try to figure out who is the gentleman who is saying snipe, 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 snipe. This is the question. First things first, let's see... Who is the gentleman who is sitting here? No one. Huh. No one is sitting in this position. That is quite weird. Okay, Mr. Grille, this should be a mistake from the Grille side. We can definitely punish him and we can have a great time while doing so. By the way, pay attention to what kind of build I have on this tank. And I have ventilation, rammer and improved aiming unit to maximize my accuracy. Because um, this tank can be a bit of the pain in the ass, you know? Uh, where the accuracy goes. Meanwhile, our team is begging to spot someone here, so I am going to do this. Okay, beautiful. We we found the TVP sitting here, and now we are going to get all the sweet assisting damage. I do not really mind um, that I am spotted here, and I know that our team can definitely support us. Meanwhile, Skoda is going for us as well, which is not that big of a deal, to be completely honest with you. We fixed our fuel tanks, that is okay. You see, with this tank, in my opinion, you can be significantly more aggressive than you could be with 140. You can simply say brr and you can get involved. And this is exactly what we are looking for whenever we are playing with the tanks like 907. We just... We are looking at this tank as... Um, as a medium heavy or heavium. If that makes sense, right? This is how, personally, I look towards this tank. Because we will get some random bounces out of nowhere. And this is exactly what we want to see. Speaking about the things which we do not want to see. Enemy team 
secured the upper side and now enemy team is trying to slap the living crap out of us. They are trying to get a bit involved like this. That being said, we are not going to panic, we are not going to cock our pants, but we are relocating a bit. Now I want to play in this area over there, so we are going to have a decent enough angles to punish enemy forces whenever they are playing in the middle, right? That's the whole plan. Um, Overall, they have three guns sniping from this area. That is okay, and that is understandable. Good to know. This is good to know. Maybe I could join the heavy line and start bursting them. Maybe I want to. You know what? I will. I know that now our dildo will get slaughtered in a moment. I changed my mind. I do not really think it is worth it, fellas. I simply changed my mind. I think the risk is not worth the reward, okay? And if I feel like the risk isn't worth the reward, I am not going to go for that. It is just way too um, risky for us to get involved in this way. So instead of going brr, we are going to have a safe defense parameter for ourselves. And we will try to punish enemies for their mistakes and for their stupidity. That's what we are trying to do here. So far, so good. I am definitely not feeling bad. And all I want to see, I want to see enemies making a bit of pressure towards the Super Conqueror, okay? This is the whole plan for us. That's okay. That is alright. I loaded hits. Hits are very, very slow where the shell velocity goes. So that is a bit annoying, but uh, I want to have hits for this almighty Jack piece that looking directly for us, right? I think it is just simply uh, the best decision on what we can do. More penetration, even though the shell velocity is a bit slower. Okay, Super Conqueror slapped me. That is okay. Not the game I'm going to cry about and nothing to complain for us either. Okay, I hear Jack Pizda just shooting. That means the guy is sitting kind of bad over there. I know that this Super Conqueror has an angle on me, but truth to be told, I just don't care about that. I just do not care about that, fellas. Good, 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 good. Jack Pizda is out. What we can do more? What we can do more? Oh, ho, 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 ho. you will get nerfed, bitch. Ha! Ah, how about that? How about that? That felt good, fellas. That felt very, 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 very good. I'm aware of that, that they are making a hardcore pressure for us, I know. And I know that we have some sniper schnitzels over there, so all I need to do, I need to relocate a bit, right? What is the exact position where we want to play? This is the question. I think I am going to sit somewhere somewhere over there just to um, spot incoming forces for our Centurion and for our TVP. Yes, I'm aware of that, that I lost a lot of hit points. I know I am aware of this, fellas, but uh, that changes absolutely nothing. We still need to get involved into this game if we want to get something. If we want to support our team, right? So first things first, Super Conqueror is getting spotted here. I am trying to punish him. Unfortunately, I failed doing so. That's okay. No complaints, no regrets. We are kind of feeling all right. Okay. Type eliminated from the game. Good. How to get more assisting damage? How to get more? How to get more? We know that was a sitting somewhere here around the corner, right? That's what we know. First things first, I am going to knock this house uh, out of the way. I think this is the proper way to do the things for us, for sure. And Vaza is relocating like so. Good. Mm-hmm. We spotted him and we slapped him. That's good. This is exactly what I want to see and this is exactly what we are playing for, right? Where is the 113? Now this is the question. Where is 113 playing? As you can see, our TVP 
is making a bit of pressure like this, which is not necessarily a bad thing. In fact, I would say this is very, very good thing. Grille should die for this 140, if I remember this correctly, is Grille, Grille is down to fartable. Hmm. What is the proper play, fellas? What is the proper play? I'm trying to figure out how we can get involved here. I do not want to make a hardcore pressure for the Super Conqueror. I just do not think it is it is a good pressure from our side, you know? Oh, 113 is making pressure good. This is exactly what I want to see. So, that being said, since this gentleman decided to get involved over there, now we are going to say hello for him, right? That's the whole point and that's the whole plan. So, how we are going to do this properly? Do I just want to go through the law for him? Oh, yes. That's good. That's good. Oh, TVP relocated. Wow. Okay. I did not expect that. So, what do we have? We have TVP sitting here. TVP. We are just going to give information for our team that TVP is sitting around this area. Other than that, not a horrible game. Let's see the score. It's okay. Oh, my bananas, fellas. We managed to throw this. Unfortunate, but this is my responsibility as well, so I cannot complain about this. That's all me. So all in all, 5.1 thousand damage, 1.6 thousand assisting damage, kudos to the Super Conqueror nerf incoming. <laughs> and TVP, TVP did a bloody great job by relocating there, that was, that was a good one. Um, all in all, we um, pretty much... We would have lose credits, but luckily we completed the mission, so we got some gains for ourselves. This is very much appreciated. And overall, where the performance goes, we played for 4.6 thousand damage and 1.2 thousand assisting damage. So solid, solid session for a Clan Wars River tank, 6,000 combined or close to that. Do I recommend to take 907? To be completely honest with you, I do. I think it is a great tank and I think it is... It is trollish mother tracker. It truly is. And for now, fellas, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed your daily dose of skill and see you soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.